What do you know, Gypsy has done exactly as we predicted. And not only did she try to get a paternity test now, she's not including Ryan, guys. I'm sorry. All the people on YouTube talking about her paternity test, well, I knew there was something to this, so I dug a little deeper. That's why I didn't post about it yet. Gypsy is not including Ryan. So we're really not going to know who the dad is. And you know what she's doing again? She's using another small business. Let's see what she says. The paternity test is expected to be done this week. Oh, good. So she's got a couple days left. Anderson will not be involved. Ryan's DNA will not be included or provided. Blanchard will only need Urker's DNA. Nope. I'm sorry, Jip. You do need Ryan's DNA because you're going through a legal divorce with Ryan. Ryan is the one you married and left after only three months, but he got you out of prison, right? And got you on probation. He paid for you when you were in prison, gave you all that money to help you get, get through it. And then you left him high and dry with the dog, which you only had for a couple days. And now you were out here telling Ryan that there's no need for him to be part of the paternity test. Why? Because you think so? Well, the state doesn't agree. The state requires a divorce where both parents provide DNA. And Ken is not the one you married, Jip. You could have married Ken, but you married Ryan instead. We all know why you did. But Ken is not the one you're divorcing. So Ken is the one whose DNA is not needed at this time. It's Ryan's DNA that's needed and your DNA that's needed. Now, why is she trying to control this situation? Well, the reason is the court is a non-biased party. So they're going to basically, typically in a divorce, they're going to pick a paternity test where Ryan can't manipulate it, Gypsy can't manipulate it, and it's cut and dry, it's foolproof, and we know for sure who the dad is. So Ryan would supply his hair or saliva DNA, Gypsy would do the same, and then they would say, okay, Ryan, you're the dad or you're not the dad. And then the divorce would decide if Ryan is the dad, what his parenting schedule would be. There would be court trial on that or proceedings for that, and also custody and child support. So Gypsy might be required to pay Ryan child support for the days the child is with him. So there's a lot of decisions that would need to be made. Why is Gypsy so afraid of losing control of where this test is done? Remember, she said she didn't want to do a test until the baby was born. But you know what? You know why she's doing this all of a sudden? Because she probably found a business who is going to do a paternity test and not include Ryan. As we can see here, she says, Ryan... Anderson's DNA is not needed. Anderson, which is Ryan, will not be involved. Well, Ryan Anderson, how do you feel about this? I mean, you have legal rights. And your little lady that you used to have over here is saying, you don't need to be included, Ryan. Actually, Ken is the one who doesn't need to be included. Ken is the one not getting divorced right now, right? So I just want you know, Ryan to understand Gypsy does not love him or care about him, right? She told him, I'm only leaving you because the, 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 you know, Ken is the dad. And, you know, that's why I've gone down a path I just can't go back on. So Ryan thinks she still loves him. But let me tell you, her actions prove otherwise. A woman that cares about you is going to do things the right way. She's going to make sure that there's a third party, that it's fair. At the very least, if she cares about you as a friend, I'm not even talking about it as a lover. If a woman cares about you as a human being and as a friend, even as just a person, she's going to make sure that there's a third party non-biased, that you both put your DNA in, and there's no drama. You both find out who the dad is, if you're the dad or not, and then you go from there. But Ryan, she doesn't respect you at all. She can't even do that for you which anyone would do for a friend, let alone a lover. She doesn't even care about you as like a human or as a friend. 
Instead, she's telling you, Ryan, you're not relevant. You're not needed. You're not important. What you want doesn't matter. Your rights don't matter. And, and basically, I don't care if you exist. That's what she's basically saying. If a man sees all this and still believes that a woman cares about him, they can't be helped because they are not looking at logic. They've just been manipulated and brainwashed to a point that their brain doesn't work anymore. Ryan, don't let this happen. Push the court to protect your rights and to protect your control. You're not hopeless in this situation. Ask the court to do a non-biased third party like you're supposed to have and for your freaking DNA to be included. Ryan, there's no way that you can let, allow a court to override your right when your DNA is not even included. And if you do let this happen and you don't even put up a verbal a disagreement to this, then the public is going to lose some respect for you because there's just no way. If a child is going to be yours at all, if there's a 1% chance this child is yours. And later on in life, they do their own DNA test. Let's say this child grows up, if she is really pregnant, and the child grows up and is like 18 years old, and they do their own DNA test and they find out who the real dad is, they're going to be like, Dad, why didn't you put up a fight? Why didn't you make sure your DNA was freaking included? Why did you let my mom not even include your DNA? Is that what you want to have to face in 18 years? And you're not going to have to explain why you just rolled over and let her find a loophole? There's a reason why there are laws in place because of people like this, okay? There, there's a reason there's a law protecting people from spending too much money when, when an initial divorce is filed. Because there are people like this that spend too much money and take advantage. There are laws in place to protect parents and fathers, thank goodness, protect dads and men from women who try to take their child away before the child's even born and say that someone else is the father. I don't know who the dad is, none of us know, but what I do know is a woman should never behave in this manner. If she was married and then left, they deserve the respect of having their DNA involved at the very least. And just at the average level, having the court choose where it's done. So that there's no question on, you know, the integrity of the test. But in this situation, Ken's not even being included, you guys. I mean, Ken's being included. Ryan's not being included, you guys. It should be the other way around. Like, please send your thoughts to Ryan and encourage him and remind him that he has rights. And that he deserves for his DNA to be included in the freaking test. I mean, my gosh, it's just common sense. But there's a reason why laws are put in place because of women like this that say, I don't care that the child might possibly be yours. Your DNA is not necessary. That is why the law is in place because of this exact scenario, Ryan. So do us a favor and talk to your attorney and let's get a DNA test with your hair in it. <laughs>